transitions and you've got transitions in here, now you may want to start using some effects. I'm going to clear my in and out here just so that's not selected. And now I can look at this. And as I look at these clips, there's some things that kind of jump out at me. So I want to make some changes. For example, this shot to this shot, this is much... Uh, the, the exposure is a little toned down as opposed to this one. And if I were to compare this shot as well, I think what I need to do is make some adjustments. And this is where the effects come in. So I'm going to go into my video effects folder. And there's different ways to apply a video effect. In this case, I want to go into color correction, brightness, and contrast. We're going to make it a little brighter. And there's two ways that I can apply an effect. I can drag it onto the clip manually, just drag it over here and apply that. Or you can just double click. Now it's going to apply it to the, the clip that I have selected in my timeline. So when I double click this, notice up here in my effect controls that it showed up automatically. Okay, so once you apply an effect, there's all kinds of different effects. You can look down this list and I mean, you can just have a ton of fun playing with a the effects, but in here we know what we want to do. We want to we want to color correct this, make it a little bright to match the second clip. So I'm going to go into this, and in the settings for my effect controls, I look down and I'm going to see brightness and contrast. So down in here, I'm going to just make some adjustments, just brighten that up, increase the our contrast a little bit until we get it a little bit better on our color. That's still not perfect, but it's better than it was. And you can just kind of preview that and see the difference in how it is impacted by that effect.